Okay, so everyone's been making videos recently about their portfolio and how bad it's been doing over the past few weeks because the past few weeks have been really volatile in the market. So pretty much everything has been falling, even big tech stocks like Apple have been falling like crazy. So I thought today would be a good day to go ahead and show you guys, you know, basically how red my portfolio is. And really, none of this actually changes my strategy, my main strategy is to have some dividend stocks but then also to mainly focus on index funds because i don't believe that i'll be able to beat the market over the long term so we're going to go ahead and start off with my roth ira this is where i keep all of my long-term positions i have five positions currently in my roth ira i have spem which is the emerging markets etf that i have down about 17 percent spdw which is the xus etf that i have down 16.28 I have AT&T, which is down 15%, M, which is down 5.56%, and USRT, which is 5.5%. Now, if we go over to the M1 Finance portfolio right now, I'm down about 8.5%. If we go ahead and look at the positions, I have VTI, VXUS, QQQ, and XLK. These two at the bottom, QQQ and XLK, are both of my technology ETFs. These are down the most, 9% and 12% respectively. I have an ETF that basically has my favorite socks. I'll go ahead and show you guys real fast. These are all of the socks that I have in this little bundle. That is currently down 8%. VXUS, which is the total international stock market. This is only down 3.79%, which is really good. It's holding up. Then aside from that, we do have VTI, which is the Vanguard total stock market ETF, which is currently down 8.76%. Now, if we move on into our last portfolio, this is my Robinhood portfolio. If we go ahead and look at the three month, this will basically show us how much we're down. I'm currently down only a dollar or 0.39% of my whole portfolio worth. Now, I think a lot of this is due to the fact that I've been receiving dividends from some of my stocks. So Pfizer, Wendy's and Southern just recently paid a dividend and so did JPS. This is a bond ETF that I currently hold which is the only position that's up in this portfolio. Everything else though is relatively down. If we go ahead and look at the percentages, Pfizer is down 2.36%. Wendy's is down 6.58%. Southern Company is down 0.31%. And then GPS, my bond ETF, is up 0.88%. Now, just so you guys know, the percentage gain and loss for the stocks do not actually take into account dividends. So that's one thing that you always have to keep in mind. And then, of course, my cryptocurrencies have actually been going up a little bit. Um, I'm down 33.69% on Litecoin, about 30% on Ethereum, and about 41% on Bitcoin. I didn't buy any when it went down a lot, a lot. If we see over here, it had a low of about 3200 I chose not to buy around there just because I didn't have the extra money to put into it. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much how red my portfolio currently is. Anyway, guys, if you did like the video, I do have affiliate links down below so that both of us can get a little bit of a kickback. If you join with my Robinhood link, you'll end up getting a free stock. If you join through my M1 Finance link right now at the recording of this video, you'll be getting $25 to add to your very own portfolio. Always make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.